Alrighty, hello TLC friends. It is time for another episode of uh, book reading with Mr. Dave. Uh, again, uh, like last week we did, I think we did Noah's Ark last week. We're going to do another Bible book story. We're going to read, um, I believe we're reading... Uh, what do we read? Jesus calms the storm. I was, it was either that or um, I, for, I forget. I forget. I was gonna do another one uh, right before, right before, but I switched it at the last second. I was gonna do uh, Jesus in the temple, um, and I think we might do that one next week. But this week we're gonna do uh, Jesus calms the storm. So obviously in Jesus uh, in the temple, uh, that story Jesus is pretty young. I think he's like twelve years old uh, in that story when they go to um, uh, Nazareth. Uh, Jesus calms the storm. He's, you know, uh, a little bit, a couple years older, a little bit older. He's, you know, um, he's an adult by then. Um, and you'll see, you'll see that in the book. So shall we get started? All right. This, and as usual, um, you can tell this is the story we're reading because it's got the big thumbs up, uh, from Mr. Day's post-it notes. Uh, so let's get started with a story. All righty, Jesus, Jesus calms the storm. And again, this is from our uh, Us Born Bible book stories, uh, and we're going to actually switch to a different uh, one next week. Uh, so, Jesus calms the storm. All right. This is Jesus. He walked around the country with his 12 special friends. They were called disciples. Now, you see Jesus here. That's Jesus, right? And these are all his friends. Those are his disciples. Um, Jesus talked to people. He told them they should love God and obey him. Jesus made the ill people well again. The ill people well again. What does ill mean? Right, kiddos? Uh, it means like the sick people. Somebody who's sick or, um, you know, something's wrong with them. Uh, he could make them better. He could make them well. Right? So you see, um... There's Jesus up here. He's talking uh, to all of these people. Right. One evening, Jesus was tired. Even Jesus gets tired. He literally had to spend all his time talking to people, right? He helped nonstop. Um, Jesus had to talk to people all day. I think I just said that. Jesus asked his disciples to take him across Lake Galilee. So you see this lake right here. This is called Lake Galilee, right? Um, and he, they have boats back then, but not like they had today, right? Uh, big wooden boats. And he's asking his disciples to take him across the lake to talk to more people, right? Jesus got on the boat. And you see here, he's getting on this boat right here. Um, and you can kind of see, if you look close, you can see these guys on the boat and they're pushing the boat from the shore. Uh, right? Because they're going to cross the lake. Uh, he lay down and was soon fast asleep. The disciples took the boat away across the lake. So Jesus decided to take a nap, it sounds like, to rest on the way across the lake. That's a good idea. I want to take a nap right now. Suddenly, there was a great storm. The wind blew and huge waves splashed into the boat. That's scary. The disciples were very frightened. Do you see our disciple friends here? Yeah, they're all super scared. That's not fun. A disciple woke Jesus. Master, he shouted, please save us. Can't you see? We're going to drown. They're very scared, aren't they? And they're telling Jesus, help us. Save us, because we're going to drown. And Jesus, he stood up on the boat. Do you see him up there on the boat? He's staying, standing right on the very edge of the boat. See his disciples looking at him? He held up his arm. Hush! Be still, he said. At once, the wind dropped and the water calmed. 
Jesus said, now do you see in this picture, there's a fish now, right? And the water's nice and calm, not all crazy like it is here. And Jesus is standing on the boat. He said, why were you afraid? To the disciples, he said, why were you afraid? Didn't you believe I'd look after you? Jesus asked. They didn't know what to say. The disciples didn't know what to say. The boat sailed across Lake Galilee. The sea was calm, and the disciples wondered how Jesus could tell the wind and the waves what to do. Hmm. Do you see them all? Jesus is sitting at the front of the boat here and they're sailing across right and the his disciples they have just they they thought they were in very big trouble right and 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 they were afraid um and Jesus was sleeping the whole time right and they woke him up and he said why were you afraid didn't you think I would take care of you that's hard isn't it I mean as much as you 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 trust in somebody or someone um, in the moment when when you're scared, kiddos, right? Um, you you need that reassurance, right? Um, that's a that's a big lesson to put your to put your faith uh, or or to put yourself um, in in the hands of somebody else, uh, right? Um, regardless of what's going on around you, um, that's hard to do. Um, and, and so this is kind of a lesson about when, when things get bad, uh, just remember that, right, that Jesus is always there, right? He's always there. He's always going to keep us safe. Um, and how did Jesus do this? He raised his arm, right? And he said to the storm, to the wind, to calm, right? Um, I mean, that would be called a miracle, um, but Jesus is talking, right, to God. And so God, like how they wonder, the disciples, how can he control the wind? And how can he control the storm? Was it Jesus controlling it or is he talking to God who can, who can control these things, right? How does Jesus make the sick people well? Does he just do it? No, right? He's that, got that relationship with God in his heart, just like we have that relationship with Jesus in our hearts, right? So... Bible story about keeping your faith, even when times are pretty hard, kind of like right now, right, kiddos? So this uh, was another Bible story with Mr. Dave. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be back tomorrow with video PE, uh, and uh, we will uh, come back next week with another Bible story from, uh, we're going to start a different, um, a different author, a different series uh next week uh so guys we miss you so excited to see it looks like we're going to be opening up again real soon uh and hope to see your smiling faces this summer uh starting in june sounds like so friends we love you we miss you god bless and we'll talk to you soon bye bye